Welcome back to another episode of Wired on Games. I'm Christian. This is my good friend, the Source Player. Yeah. Source Player. Source Player. Links in the pants. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh. Huh. I think you go back to this now. That ought to do it. The ride should stop and let us out at the maintenance exit, instead of doing the normal loop. Uh... Whoa. Well, that's it. I Since the ride is in maintenance mode, it should be safe. It won't go very fast. Come on. The sooner we get to the coast, the sooner this will all be over. Hey, let's ride a ride. Hang on. This is gonna be a short trip. Can't be good. Uh. I don't even hear them. I think I just killed us. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> uh. This guy is like Mr. Handy. Mr. Handyman. This guy's a boss. <laughs> so many. Oh, now the track's falling apart. Great. Yeah. She's got a killer aim, dude. <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> He's so scary. I guess this makes up a little bit for the last episode. <laughs> yeah, you got fucking smack. Uh oh. That was eventful. It's not letting me. <laughs> Hope you die, girl. Ah, wrong button. Oh god. <laughs> Oops. Oh, not again. Okay, cool. No, it's okay. not all the way back in the beginning. It's just here. Yeah. Rich. That was close. Don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> it's too fast anyways. Dude. What? <laughs> what the hell was that? Shenanigans. 
That's, that was all sorts of shenanigans right there. <laughs> There we go. Run, you fools. I got you. What's going on, girl? <laughs> Thank you. Uh. You. Did they told know you. each other? I told you. Now, now, we go for the ride. Please don't say ride. Oh, 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 knee slapper. So, what did you call those things that were chasing you? Mm -hmm. Hairy sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic. Hairy era. penises. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years, right, Oscar? Where's Denny? I don't know, you left them alone in a jungle yeah, full of dinosaurs. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> I honestly you forgot about chopper. it. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. Why don't you let those guys get in the chopper too? I don't know. What if a dinosaur comes up and they need to run away? H U one twenty one, eh? I haven't bait. seen one of these in a while. Boy, oh. your pilot's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Yeah, pick it up. Danny's. And it's Jack. That's how he died. Oh, was that blood? Yep. He's a goner. Oscar! I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never. Never. Decaf is MIA. <laughs> MIA. MIA? No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Well, apparently he was with the chopper, and then something <laughs> took Billy, him away from the chopper. You feel that? We've already lost Bravo team, and and and. and Billy! Look, we are not leaving without decaf. I mean, we agree, right? Oh man, I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. At ease! We've got a situation here. Saint Jersey Shore. Inside the chopper now. They're running too. Oscar, I've got no power. I'm on it. Uh. All right. Why can this just be a very long cutscene? Because who else is going to put the batteries in? Did Did you see that, Oscar? I don't like when that happens. Pick up the pace. Don't be a little bitch. I got a prime battery? Try it now! <laughs> oh god. That battery's not responding! Try another one! Look, we gotta get out of here! Now! I know! I'm working on it! Uh, it's gonna be the last one you try, too. <laughs> Most likely. X, I guess. It might be coded that way that it's like, the last one you pick is going to have to be the one that works. Try it now! Still not working. If you got another battery, try it! <laughs> God. Told you. Why are there so many batteries lying around? My question. Beep, 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 beep. 
Try it, it all now. depends on you, Darko. It worked. Oh, we got power. Hey, how was that? It's a T-Rex, probably. Yep. Probably the same asshole who started yelling all those time screen. Mini screen. Whatever you decided to talk. Mm -hmm. See, look at that, look at that. His signature yell. Thread the needle. Thread the needle, Darko. Thread Stop the needle. Letting me. Just getting out. Uh, too. Get slamming the helicopter doesn't take it out of the air, but a uh, whatever. Hey, you don't. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you kick it and knock it right out of the sky. <laughs> you look like just a glance too. Totally ruining it. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar. Uh. Is that music supposed to be there? Yeah. It's really loud, though. Yeah. Makes teeth. Let me see if I can turn down the music a bit. Uber loud. Swims. I already have a camera. <laughs> Why are you so broken, game? Rick's teeth. You know, I've seen Oscar knock out someone's teeth for a lot less. When I say teeth, I mean face. Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in that the jungle. Loud. Company of killers. Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Oh, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the company of killers. Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy? This is what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Speaking of jokes, Oscar, tell the one about the priest, the stripper, and the bucket of frogs. <laughs> Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see it all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, boy. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! Oh, back. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo. On my I'm ankle. gonna record the names of the people you killed into those <laughs> of yours. Quiet. Then we'll see hey, how proud you listen, are. Listen, there's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Hmm. My doctor. Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had something quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running all over. free. Bring the kids, all fun over. for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some complications. Who are you? Uh... Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we're the band. Uh, where can we set up? Excuse me? I'm just kidding. InGen sent us. We're the cavalry come to the rescue. Mm. I'm Billy Yoder, and this is- Look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island oh is pretty God. remote and is a long way from the Predators. I'm perfectly safe, and I don't need She's gonna be safety. a pain in the ass, isn't That's she? That's not a good idea, man. Ah. But, okay. since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! He's a very angry man. On me and I, will I like the way he moves. so ass deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Oh my god. <laughs> Over there, at the loading Fucking dock. Fucking kidding me. <laughs> this is just a way to add time to the game. The lady. Hey, can I help? Fuck you, Telltale Games. Uh... Yes. <laughs> sure, why the hell not? Well, jeez, don't be so excited about it. Yeah, you're right. This is a big deal. I should be throwing a box-moving party. Thanks for coming to rescue us. It's what I do. That and moving people's stuff around. I could use a few good marks in my employee file. It's been a rough year. I know, right? I almost got suspended for skipping class too much. Mom would have killed me. <laughs> well, we all got problems. Okay. <laughs> It's getting a little personal here. It's a little awkward. <laughs> Are you serious? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. <laughs> Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me. If we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charmer. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this one. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? No. Nope. Okay. This chick is gonna do the worst things when she gets older. She'll do crack cocaine and heroin. <laughs> I'm Probably. Not these things Alcohol like abuse. I think Dr. Sorkin said we're only supposed to move file boxes. Oh, yeah. Well, good. So which one are file boxes? So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? Me neither. Guess we'll just burn them. What's supposed to do? I don't know. Ugh, smells like a barrel of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs mm. eat that stuff. Delicious. I eat that every day. Leave Oscar alone. Wait here. I'm gonna go talk to Sorkin. Uh, what should I do? You wanna help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. Oh my god. Just knock her the fuck out. I mean, I knew Hammond was no Honestly. real scientist, but someone should have seen this coming. So that girl is your daughter? Yeah, my youngest, Jess. Fourteen. Hard to believe. And her mother? Remarried. Doesn't matter. It's, it's for the best, really. We're both much happier. You know, Doc, I saw some bites like that on one of my men back at the visitor center. Mr. Call me Billy. Mr. Yoder, would you please tend to the InGen files? Did she like know his last name? Yes, ma'am. Because he said it before. He said, My name is Billy Yoder, and hey, this you is know Oscar is? Mexican no last name. Well, I've never seen her on the island before. I don't recognize her as someone who works for InGen. But I don't know everyone, so it's possible. Uh -huh. To date the prisoner. Hey, Doc, you got a pharmacy inside? It's gonna be a long flight back if we don't get this prisoner either elated or sedated. She seems harmless enough now, and she's adequately secured. Are you afraid she's gonna beat you up? Well, I do have a history of women wanting to get their hands on me. Ooh. 
come and decide. What about our patient? I'm fine. I tried to convince. Let's see what we can find. So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And NGN didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. <laughs> I'll start like murdering puppies and puppies. Dino puppies. preserve proposals. Uh, yep. You gotta hand it to the lady. She don't give up easy. Alright, time Just to go. This means it's gonna take longer. Talk to the lady. What's the point of rebuilding? Hammond will kowtow to the major shareholders and cut every corner to recoup their investment as fast as possible. With no regard to the animal's welfare. I'm interested in hearing more about her symptoms. Well, I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? How does it get back to the dinosaurs killing and eating people? Right? <laughs> this stuff is boring. Uh, uh here we go. Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean, it's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? Huh. You have a point. <laughs> as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are gonna need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. Let's murder John Hammond. Prisoner could relapse. Everything, and then we'll do what will convince you last. Nice. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place. You have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence uh, after this disaster. Well, obviously that's true. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Prisoner could relapse. We gotta get back because uh, you never know the prisoner could ever relapse or something. Highly unlikely. Oh, they bitch them. They're in danger. Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. Ooh. Would you mind if I took a look? Oh, at there we go. Yeah, why not? I've tried talking. See if we have any more information on. How's your smoke? Her. Really? Nothing more? <laughs> oh, here we go. Hey, Oscar. Was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big time protester in the 70s. Lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her engine related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. <laughs> Okay, she's a bitch. Everything? So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. Alright. <laughs> I can talk to her again. See, this is clear. I mean, what That's was Hammond play. thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster like this was inevitable. If you're in some kind of trouble with InGen, Dr. Sorkin. As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Uh. History. History. Give her a history lesson about her. Someone past. needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He... Told him to stay away from the quarantine. Oh, Dr. Tents. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. <sighs> Dr. Hyde, perhaps <sighs> you and your daughter would like to assist me. 
Oh I've God. been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Life. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it. And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back, along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them to see if it even works. God, how this many chick are we is talking about? crazy. Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress you should be a pain in the ass. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. This is, oh my god, this is, just leave, please. Let the dinosaurs I'm glad die. I'm finally have you out here, Dr. Harding, despite the circumstances. Or at least We've been just, doing you know, have something deadly come. Parasaurs. Behavioral right. communication Spice things up a bit. You've interpreted their calls. Some of them, and I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. What? How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? I know told me. <laughs> Be a little smart ass. <laughs> well, believe it or not, the dinosaurs told me. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. Oh, that was a letdown. Any predators in the uh -huh. vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and this I will set the insane. various parasaur sounds that play through them. It's gonna start making yeah. a calling noise once it's they're in okay. there. It's gonna get all quick timey I mean, event, it's safe, and then they're gonna right? have to run to the chopper, the will warn us and then we'll leave before it gets close. That's what's gonna happen. Stay with <laughs> Doctor Sorkin. Uh, I just have that feeling. Let's end the episode here. We'll uh, catch you guys next time. Uh, oh god, shut the fuck up.